In this video I'm going to show you how to add a featured badge to your WooCommerce products, like the one you see on the screen right now here and here. It's a fairly simple hack, so if you're interested, then jump in. Now a couple of things I need to point out. First, all the snippets I'm going to show you today, take a look at the description of this video, there is a link to the blog post that contains all the code. And second one, you can add all those snippets into your child teams functions PHP file, or you can go to the plugins, add new, search for code snippets, this one here, install and activate it. This one allows you to add all the codes to the site, and you don't have to worry whether the snippets are active in case you change your teams. So code snippet is a, another option, but there is also a third option, and this one is WP Codebox. This is my favorite code snippet manager. This one is a premium plugin, but it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. I can choose what kind of snippet I add here. I can choose the condition. For example, if I add the snippet, I can add the condition to show it only for specific product categories. For example, if I add a snippet, this one works only on accessories, product category pages. Previously, I have made a Toro review video about the WP code box. The link to this video is in the description of this video. One more thing, as I said, it's a premium plugin, but if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. In this video, I'm going to use Code Snippets plugin. So I installed it and activated it. Now I'm going to go to the snippets and add new. Give it the title. Featured product badge, paste this snippet. If you would like to change the text, then change this text here. Featured here and featured here. Maybe you would like to show the top product or, or whatever text on the badge. Only run on site front end, save changes and activate. And if you go to the front end, then this is the badge here. Let's customize it a bit. Open up the customizer and additional CSS. This piece of CSS here, it will move the featured badge on the image below the sale badge. And if there is no sale badge, then it's just looking like this here, as you see. So let's publish it. This part is for archive pages. This part is for single product page. Just replace the styling in a way you would like it to be. Now let's take a look whether it worked. And as you see on archive pages it's here and on the single product page it's here. Now one more thing I would like to point out. If this snippet doesn't work for your theme, then most likely your theme is overriding the default WooCommerce hooks. Or you're using a page builder like Elementor and this one overrides default WooCommerce hooks. If this happens then contact your team author and ask what hooks are they using over there. Nevertheless my site uses default WooCommerce hooks and it works like a charm. Now before you go, wait, if you find this tutorial helpful then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.